it's going to be a lot of violence. It's going to be a lot of like, just not good for anybody. Nobody really wants that world. You know, like you, you saying, I support your right to have a YouTube. It doesn't, it doesn't change the dynamic that you are allowed on YouTube. And I am not. To some extent, you have to be willing to rise above that baser reaction and say like, okay, you know, you guys deplatform the fuck out of us. There's probably shit of yours that we could report. But I think at the end of the day, you want to be able to point back and go, we could have done this, but we didn't because we're better than that. Oh. Hey. Hey. What's up, friend? Hey, what's going on, guys? <laughs> what's up, oh, Nick? Nick? Hey. What's up, bestie? Got some, uh, got some problems going on here. Got some drama brewing, Nick. I don't think so. What's the drama? People are uh, going after my, my comrades. Not good. Yeah, like I said, uh, I don't support Mr. Girl being taken down. I like Mr. Girl going on there because he's like, honestly, if Mr. Girl's attacking me, it just makes those attacks look stupid, in my opinion, because it's like you kind of couldn't pick like a a worse representative. Like he was on that stream with uh, who uh, Abba and uh, was it Jadeon, and even they were like. Okay, fuck this guy. He's so dis he's unlikable, blah blah blah. So, um, but but I mean it's besides the point. So here's here's I think the missing context about the deplatforming mm -hmm. conversation. I generally do not support deplatforming, but you gotta keep in mind that this is what's happened to me in recent times. When people get deplatformed, as you know, it's like very bad obviously for their reach like nobody would you know all these retard conservatives are like oh i got banned on whatever that just the, through the streisand effect that made me go farther it's like that's a myth that's not true obviously having access to the platforms with the billion users on youtube facebook tiktok reddit obviously that's better yeah of course so a person like me i'm banned from literally everything and here's where um like, I appreciate that you're saying, oh, well, I think you should have a platform. But frankly, you know, that and a dollar will, like, buy me a cup of coffee at McDonald's. You know, like, you you saying, I support your right to have a YouTube, it doesn't, it doesn't change the dynamic that you are allowed on YouTube, and I am not. You are allowed on Reddit with the, one of the biggest political communities on the platform, and I am banned. And the problem is that, you know, OK, well, I've created my own platform. I do my show. That's great. But in my case in particular, you'll have people that do these huge streams or huge tweets or whatever on the platforms. And they're able to say, like, whatever they want about me. And I like, there's no there's no semblance of a free marketplace where I could go in and, and rebut or answer that. I've got to go on freaking Telegram or if you look, it's like. The biggest user on Telegram in America has a million followers. That's how, you know, Telegram's like a huge platform globally, but domestically, I think the biggest American political user has like a million, maybe a couple million followers. And it's all, and you could look at the traffic on the site. It surged after the sixth when everybody joined a year ago after Trump got banned. And it's just been declining for everybody ever since. And point being is, like that that's i think the missing context where again i don't support deplatforming i wish everybody were able to be platformed but that's also not the case so i'm not necessarily you know i the things that i report on twitter people go on twitter and like post my home address or say like i'm gonna kill you or whatever like i report that stuff um but i don't go on my show and tell people report people i don't do this and that Wasn't but i'm there a little bit of that with be, the kind of the ralph stuff what? Weren't you guys talking about going around and spam reporting Ralph stuff? Did this not happen? Am I misremembering this? No. The debate with Ralph is that with Ralph you and Medicare or whatever. Uh, well, yeah. Or yeah, Medicare. The debate with Medicare about Ralph. There were a few things in there, but the main thing was about Ralph DMCA. Um, who is that guy? Flamenco. Flamenco. Ralph DMCA his stream, and I came on there and I said, "Look, I don't support it." I said, "But." I said, you can't exactly, like, people are flying out to Portugal to, like, stream snipe and beat Ralph up. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to DMCA them, and they're going to be like, that broke the rules. 
And all I didn't say, oh, I support deplatforming. I said, well, you can't exactly cry foul. Like, clearly you're engaged in something that's not just the war of words. If you're out there like, you know, doing the, all, all that beef and all that drama that goes on with them, I said, well, it's how can you really go and then draw the line and cry foul? So I don't go. I've never DMCA'd um, somebody on YouTube like that's not something that I do. And again, and I don't really go around reporting people unless it's illegal or they're trying to, like, get me murdered or whatever. But the missing con and, and, and I know I'm rambling here, but the missing context is, you know, it's great that you support people to be platform, but that's just not the reality. And it's just bullshit that people can go on Twitter and make up lies about me. Or slander me or call, like in Mr. Girl's case, oh, you're a Nazi that supports genocide. And he gets to go on YouTube, a platform of two billion active users, and he gets to go on Twitter and say, oh, he's a Nazi. Jadeon is going to say, so you should maybe go and kill him, right? And it's like, and I don't have any platform to respond to that other than Telegram and you know, the website that I built. Well, hold on. So, that comment, whatever, firstly, just as a quick thing, that comment about go and kill him, you do understand the purpose of that comment, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't think it really changes the well, dynamic. That, it does. Oh. That the, that comment was making fun of Mr. Girl, right? Uh, I, I don't think it's funny if the, because Mr. Girl is out there saying no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. The the, com the reason why he made that comment was because Mr. Girl was saying that you're a literal Nazi. So Gideon yeah. was saying that well, if he's a Nazi, doesn't that mean you're supposed to strap up? He was making fun of Mr. Girl's hyperbolic statement about yeah, you. Yeah, I understand. Because, that. Sure. Okay, I'm I just saying just to make that. sure. Yeah. Okay. So here's the. I understand what you're saying. Okay, because I have um. I think you guys probably all know this. I've been in all of your places before where you're trying to play nice with certain people. And then they're, I mean, you, Keffels is literally trying to fucking vandalize my Wikipedia article now. That's what they're involved in. Um, so, like, I've seen all this happen before. When I engage with you guys, um, there are, so on one end, you're telling me this, okay? Um, you're telling me, and I don't even necessarily disagree. There's like an expected behavior based on all of our circumstances. That's true. Like, everybody in here, to some extent, has been fucked by the man, by mainstream tech by a whole bunch of other like big actors. That is the case. And I'm not gonna disagree with you there. Um, and I'm, I'm in a better position than you in terms of like, I haven't gotten as fucked by you also. Like that's true as well, obviously. You've been delisted and, and deplatformed by way more people than I have. Um, there, there are expected behaviors. The expected behavior for me is that I just don't associate with people like you because why would I? It represents a potential brand risk. Um, I could get deplatformed by other actors that don't like you. Um, there's a whole host of things reasons why my expected behavior that if you were giving that explanation for why you guys might do platform people sometimes the explanation would also explain why i shouldn't interact with you but i'm willing to because i have a stance on the types of conversations we have the types of ways that we should represent our political adversaries i'm willing to stake a lot of my reputation and and then even my platform on the idea that we should be able to have these types of conversations, that I don't think it's fair to write off America first as all Nazis. I don't think it accurately summarizes your views, and I don't think it's fair to do, and I think you should be allowed on platforms like YouTube. Now, I know that that's just my word, it doesn't mean much, but I am staking a bit on doing this. You've made fun of it and laughed at like, my friends are attacking me, a ton of my community's attacking me, I had to ban a bunch of people that got really mad at the way that I characterize you guys or argue with you, but I do do that. I'm willing to take a step out and kind of act in a way that is against or contrary to some of my interests because of a principled position I believe in. And all I would say or ask or request is I know that for you guys, it's really tempting to want to hit back on everybody as hard as they've hit on you. Because I feel the same way about a lot of these fucking lefties when I'm on Twitter. But I think to some extent, you have to be willing to rise above that baser reaction and say like, okay, you know, you guys deplatform the fuck out of us. There's probably shit of yours that we could report. But I think at the end of the day, you want to be able to point back and go, we could have done this, but we didn't because we're better than that. That's kind of what I'm advocating for now, what I'm trying to do now. I feel like you guys could be able to do that. That's kind of Well, yeah, and, and the thing is, like, we do that. And, and yeah, I like we're doing that, yeah. I don't support people striking you or Mr. Girl. Even, like, the other day, you've been following the Kiwi Farms drama. Mm -hmm. Kiwi Farms is like... You know, and I'm, I'm not going to sit here and bitch and moan, but I, I just want to give this as an example. They're on there and they've doxed my entire family. They doxed my sister. They doxed my parents, you know, and ju just ruthless. There's a whole board about me and th like there's literally a thread about my diet. Like I post what I eat for lunch and there's a thread just like shitting on <laughs> like what I eat. Like, oh, wow, this lunch looks terrible. Sure. So it's like such a pervasive level of stalking. Now, that being said, the other day when Cloudflare came out and said, you know, we and, and they've reversed the decision. But when Cloudflare came out and said, 
Um, we're not going to take them down initially. I went out on Telegram and said, you know what? I'm not a fan of Kiwi Farms, obviously. I'm not a fan of Josh Moon. I said, but this is objectively a good thing. I don't support Cloudflare banning them, you know, because if Cloudflare is weaponized in that way, you know, it's bad for everybody. And, and even though that's not even 100% true, because as you know, Kiwi Farms is really actually a unique case. We've been talking about it behind the scenes and people go, oh, you know, if Kiwi Farms gets banned from Cloudflare, that sets a bad precedent. And I said, well, you know, not really necessarily. The precedent that it concerns us was when they banned Daily Stormer and Andrew Anglin. That's a lot more analogous than Kiwi Farms, where you've got legitimate uh, harassment and, and just a different kind of thing going on than you have on a political show or a live stream. So I went out of my way to go on Telegram and say, look, I mean, these guys have really went out of the way to fuck with me, doxed my interns, doxed all kinds of people, but they should have a platform. So I'm just, I just want you to know, that's why I came on here to correct the record. I, you know, Big Tech did that. And, you know, Cozy is a free speech platform. So people, you know, he, Big Tech can say what he wants on the stream. I don't support that. I support Mr. Girl being on YouTube, uh, you know, and, and, Likewise, and I do appreciate, you know, I did I did make fun of you a little bit because some of the lefties are coming after you. It is it's a little bit comical. But I also said, and I hope you saw, that I do admire it immensely. I oh no, no. When I when I was pointing out that you were making fun of it, I was saying that you were aware of it. I, I know that you are oh, in yeah. general in favor of yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I do I do think it's very admirable and it shows a lot of integrity. Because there's really there's no reason that you needed to uh, to do that other than that you felt it was right. And uh, and you know, I've gone through a lot of that throughout my career over the past five years i've had to forcefully push back against a lot of different kind of stuff and i know it's uh it's not easy so so i did, I did appreciate that and i just want to come on here correct the record and say that gotcha okay um, are we hey what, are we still on for our debate on tuesday that we talked i don't know i gotta i gotta think about it i gotta i gotta think about it okay <laughs> so okay <laughs> let me just let me let me toss some things around in my head because um, yeah, I don't know. I get horrified at the idea. Like, I could probably lose all my shit and retire and be okay. Like, I'll be okay financially. Um, right. But the, um, yeah, it's kind of like, uh, maybe you feel like this sometimes. You're kind of like Batman, right? Where you might be able to deal with a lot, but people that are in your vicinity can get catch strays and get completely fucked. And then you start to wonder, um, like, fuck, am I about to excommunicate myself from all of my friends? Because now they're worried that people on Cozy are going to start, like, career assassinating everybody that I associate with. So then I have to kind of be careful. But, yeah, I mean, I gotta, I'll think about it. I'll get back to you on that, okay? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting debate. It's an interesting debate. Sure. Uh, but, yeah, I understand. And, uh, you know, and I appreciate, you know, it's it's been a good, I think it's been a very interesting thing. I think everybody's remarked whether they like you or like me or they like us both or they dislike us. Mm -hmm. It's been good content. There's no good content anymore. I'm so sick of the, I hate the expression, but, you know, the echo chamber, people going on just want to fucking jerk off with each other and agree with each other about, oh, we're so right wing or, oh, we're so left wing. So I think it's it's been good when it's contentious, when it's pleasant. I think it's always good content. So, yeah, um, I don't I don't disagree. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, well anything else? Anybody else want to chime in? Or actually, I've got a question. Well, while, while I've got both of you guys here, if you don't mind, I'd like to get your perspective on something that's kind of lingering for me on this. I'll, uh, I'm absolutely not trying to be out of step. I'm not trying to be out of pocket with you guys. And if I'm, and if I was, and if I am, I'll pull back and I'll change that. And again, also, like you said, I was just speaking for myself on the channel right there in that one little clip. That's literally all I said about it. I haven't done long streams about this, but what I have done is I've been following Mr. Girl for many, many months now. Before I was even a cozy streamer, by the way, I was tapped in on what Mr. Girl's doing. And the recent emergence of this thing where he's insisting on not only himself, not only naming us as Nazis, but also in increasingly and in pushing pressure on everybody else to also do the same. That's what seems to be exactly what his agenda is. For me, uh, it's one thing, and it's accurate to call him, uh, you know, he's being histrionic, it's, it's all of this stuff, and we can kind of laugh about it, and that, that is the lighthearted approach, but there's another side for me that feels personal. I'm doxxed on Kiwi Farms too. I've actually had personal ramifications in my family just choosing to stream and speak my mind and have, be who I am and have what I have to say. Now, when somebody is wanting to uh, call me a Nazi or call my friends and my organization a Nazi organization, well, the Nazis are a group that we, as a country in the last decade, we deplatformed them off the planet. 
Like, they are gone because of us. And the punch a Nazi meme isn't a joke. There's a lot of people who really celebrate that. And by going around and labeling people with this essentially like this really anti-white, anti-nationalist slander term, in my opinion, um, I've I've appreciated Destiny. You've been pushing back on it. You've been really uh, insisting, no, let's challenge them on the ideas. Let's not just throw slanderous names at them. Let's not just categorize them and turn them off. Let's keep it to where we can keep conversation to reach them. I really appreciate that. And though I'm wondering, like, uh, how long should it be expected of us to tolerate being called something that really, if if he get, if he has his way, sort of like the Dijon point, it's like if Nick really is Hitler, then you really actually should go like take care of business. Which it was a joke, but it's also there's a bit of truth to that joke. Like if you're actually if it's real, real, then why are you talking about it online and not actually literally saving the world by getting rid of Nick? And if the same the same thing goes with if we if if he's actually going to get his way and get you guys all to call us Nazis. He's putting me in danger, like real physical. Danger. Yeah, I, so, so that's something I think about. I don't do think? disagree with what you're saying, but like, so this is, this is the only reason why I interact with any of you guys um, is because right now we're on a road where everybody is incentivized to do things that are, are leading, in my opinion, the country to destruction. Um, like all the people on the left have all the incentive to call you guys Nazis. Your views are pretty far right. They're very far outside of the mainstream. And then you guys also, not to sound victim blaming, you bring it on yourselves a little bit by flirting a lot with the um, with the very very far right humor, um, and then uh, there's so much reward on the left and so much punishment on the left for not for there's reward for doing it and punishment for not doing it. You see all the pushback that I get, um, not even for saying you guys are like good, but just for saying you're not Nazis or just for not saying that you're not Nazis, right? I get so much pushback for it. Um, so that that incentive exists there, and then on your guys' end. The incentive exists for you guys to use all of the tools against them that they use against you, right? Like, well, if you're going to spam report us and fuck our shit and all of that and call us Nazis, well, fuck you. I'm going to call you a pedophile and a pedophile should be banned off YouTube and blah, blah, blah. Like, in that sense, like, you're wholly justified. Like, I, I understand that. I empathize with that. I've done shit like that in the past. Mio's, like, really keen and excited to link a clip where I'm trying to spam report Nick or whatever. I've done shit like this, 100%. Um, and even more recently than that, I've probably done shit against people on the left and right for shit like this. Um, what I'm saying is that part of what I'm trying to do in terms of reaching out and talking to people is I recognize that if things are gonna change, somebody has to buck the trend of acting in the ways that make the most sense in terms of what your personal incentives are. There has to be some level of self-sacrifice or ideological um, compromise, as horrible as that is to say, in order to move forward in a direction where we all have the ability to like move on a better path to where we can communicate with each other again. Um, the, it's like the Matthew 18, 22, not seven times, but 77 times, right? You turn your cheek. Um, and, and I know that there's like the, I know there's the desire to fight and fight and fight and to play dirty. But like, like I said at the beginning of this, that just sends us down this road where everything is completely fucked, right? Because then, Everybody is incentivized to act in the way they are, and everything is just fine. I'm repeating myself. Yeah, but that, that's that's what I'm trying to, to break the trend of. And then I would ask, I guess, you guys, if I'm involved in that conversation, that you guys try to break that trend as well. Because it's obviously not serving, I mean, it's not serving you guys at all well. I um, mean, it seems like it's obviously fucking with the, the whole country in terms of our ability to get along with each other. Well, well I would say that it's, it's, the problem, though, is that it's asymmetrical, you know, because it's, and I think you might agree, it's a little bit easier for you to say that sitting where you are versus sitting where we are because i mean the situation for us has worsened dramatically uh significantly over the past few years like i just got banned from another bank i'm banned like i can't open a checking account i can't i can't do payment processing i'm on the match list i don't even know if you know what that is because most people that have a business never will know what that is mm -hmm. I'm, i cannot process a credit card online for five years let alone open a checking account, let alone I'm banned from PayPal, Stripe, right? And, uh, and, and like Big Tech said, um, you know, yeah, when Mr. Girl says, you're a Nazi who wants to kill people, you know, that's called like, uh, that. that's, when you're saying that, you're saying that I pose like an imminent threat. Mm -hmm. And what you, de and, and like you said, what you Dion said is, it, he might have said that in a tongue in cheek way, but it is a logical conclusion. Yeah, I and, agree. Um, and, and while I understand that people like yourself are trying to buck that and I appreciate that like your your goodwill is not it, it doesn't account for the rest of it because I and, and here's the thing I'll, I'll meet you halfway and I'll say all I'm saying is I understand where big tech's coming from and like I, I think it is kind of a gray area what I will say though is this broadly I absolutely agree with your point about 
country is headed towards a collision. And this is a thing which I've talked about on my show for a long time. And it's such a shame. You know, I saw your your friend Rose Wrist said, oh, here's all these links. Here's all these things that Nick said. It's like I have and everyone who watches my show can attest to this. I have strenuously said on my show for years that we are headed towards violence and that that is going to be catastrophic for everybody involved. It's going to probably hurt us more than anybody. <laughs> it's definitely not going to hurt the establishment. It's definitely not going to hurt most uh, normal or liberal people. It's going to hurt us the most. But that's besides the point of the human suffering. It would be unmitigated catastrophe. And I've strenuously tried to tell people, and whenever I do this, I go on my show, even back uh, when we did our 2v2 debate, you and Hassan and me and the uh, uh, Sargon, mm -hmm. even during that debate, that was shortly after Christchurch, I said, like, look, you know, the reason the violence is happening is because right wing people are not are not really given a legitimate way to participate between the censorship and a lot of the other things that go on. It's it's it is radicalizing people. And whenever I talk like that, like after January 6th, I went on my show and I said, um, like I before this happened, I thought we could fix the country. But after the you know what? This just pissed me off and this just made me angry. I said, and but that's the problem. I said, because that's the way everybody feels. And if that's happening, we're we're headed towards something where nobody's gonna be able to control. It's gonna be this, yeah, this I don't, I don't, for status. I don't necessarily disagree with you. So the one of the biggest reasons why I am associating with you at all, and I'm willing to have conversations with you. Something that I appreciate about you that is even more so than a lot of the progressives is, at the very least, it seems like, regardless of how fucked you think the system is, you're still trying to get people to engage with the system. And as long right. as there are people that are willing to try to engage with the system, then like, not all hope is lost. We're not just looking to like arm up and go kill each other in the streets. Like, so, like there's something there that can be worked with. And I guess, it seems like for anything to ever get back to a sense of us being able to communicate with each other in the country, we have to be able to, we have to be able to, I need to be able to do something and then, and then point to a project that I'm working on and go, look, like I engage with these people in this way. And I think it's actually been an immensely positive experience. Like I've been able to flesh views out. Like I'll tell anybody that like, if I wanted to attack your views, I think I understand your views better than any other progressive does. I don't have to just call you a fucking Nazi and then move on from it. Um, there are like ways that I can challenge my own ideas through integrating with, or not integrating, but engaging with your community. And, but these are things that I need to be able to point to as like a, a, a trial in like a successful way. Like I tried this and look at how this is turning out. But then if it ends up being, and again, I don't, I'm not blaming you guys on like an emotional because I understand it. But if it ends up being that like anytime somebody tries to make one of those good faith engagements with the other side, that either the left or the right just says, oh, well, <laughs> time to break out the bricks. Fuck you. You know, you fucked up and now we're going hard. It's like, okay, well, fuck. It, all it does is it further entrenches people and reinforces this idea that like, well, fuck, you know, I guess it really was a mistake to ever engage with these people because look at how it turned out. Look at what happened here. Um, and that's like kind of the thing that I'm constantly pushing back against. Or I'm trying to get people out of that mindset of like, shit is fucked. We need to fight as hard as we can anyway. Because if for no other reason, I mean, like you said, like it's just, it's going to be a lot of violence. It's going to be a lot of like, just not good for anybody. Nobody really wants that world, you know, except for the people that have deluded themselves into thinking it's going to be like a peaceful transition of power or they're going to be on the winning side, I guess. Yeah, well, I, I can't stand because it's it's definitely oh, well. I mean, there's some of it on the left, but mm -hmm. especially in the alt right, the alt right had a big problem with this, where you'd have people constantly going in and saying that this expression. They say there's no political solution, and I've strenuously pushed back on that for years. People come on my show and uh, do the super chat or the live chat, you know, and, and not not so much now, but there was a long time where people come on and say, "Oh, you want to vote in elections? What? Well, you're a cuck. You think that we're gonna?" solve this in any other way other than like getting getting like you said getting the bricks and so on and i've strenuously strenuously pushed back and said you know you're ridiculous that's the worst idea ever you know i'm totally against that kind of thing mm -hmm. so i agree i want this project to work and i i think it has been fruitful in both ways you know because i've i think i understand your views and i think i understand you i, I talk to your people i talk to your community mm -hmm. and there are people that if i probably if i was even seen in the group chat the people on my side would flip because I'm in your one. I'm not your, but one of the the Twitter Destiny groups. Yeah, I see group, yeah, in one of the group chats. And there's, you know, there's there's a, a lot, lot of, of degeneracy. LGBT, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people. They got like OnlyFans and stuff. And I'm in there hanging out, but you know, but I am trying to understand where you guys are coming from. And and I even did a Twitter space where I was talking to 
some of them and there were like some trans people on and they're saying like look like i don't hate you but this is like where we're coming from and i said well okay i think i get it not like not like i empathize but like you know i i understand the view sure and um in any case i think the project it the the that you are working on or we are working on this thing i think that uh we all want it to work so that's why i'm coming on here and saying because normally i would be like oh who fucking cares mr girl got banned you know whatever he's histrionic but but i I do think that what is occurring here is interesting and i've said on my show for a long time we got to turn down the temperature a little bit because things are moving in a direction between this biden speech the reaction I know you don't agree. You said, well, Trump, you know, I don't want to get into the weeds on that. But point mm-hmm. being is that's the perception and the perception, you know, becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. So yeah, of course. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I will that. say that like the, the mass anti-Semitic fucking meme spam on Mr. Girl shit when he gets banned <laughs> <laughs> looks a little bit fucked what up. That was an anti-Semitic. It's just this. Come on, come on, hey. <laughs> but I, I mean, like, when I, if I if I if I'm seeing stuff like that, right? Like, there's a difference between that versus like, <clears throat> because here's the interesting thing. Because earlier you posited that like, oh well, you know, I'm super anti Kiwi Farms, but I'll still stand up with them when they do their thing. Well, like, I imagine you should be pretty anti Mr. Girl as well. But it seemed like here there was a, a different set of rules, you know? And, like, I'm very anti kf as well. The Null dude fucking hates me. Um, you know, I've got a thread where they literally try to, like, ask me or ask people where, like, my kid's mom lives. Like, there's a lot of weird shit that happens there. And I came out initially in defense of them, too, to, uh, like, a lot of heat from a lot of people, which I don't know if you've seen or not. Um, be- because I don't think that, like, Cloudflare should be making decisions on what content is hosted on the Internet. I don't think that's a good thing ever. Um, but, yeah, I just, I think that, like... Even though it seemed, here's like, this is like a thing that I learned and it took a long time. Um, it took a long time for me to, to learn this. I think my YouTube editor had to point this out that sometimes when people are fucky on the internet, it's really tempting to roll around with the mud, roll around in the mud with them. And, and especially you guys are, are probably really good at it by now because you're used to it because you've, you've been in these areas and you've fought with people like this for a long time. You probably do it better than most people, I would imagine. I know I can. Um, but what happens is, is he, here's what you see at the end of the day. When people are fucking with you and and it feels like the world is against you, and it feels like everything is fucked up. When you go online and you look for like, um, when you look for what people are saying, it's very easy to find the very negative comments, um, and it's very easy to see all the people like, oh fuck Nick, fuck this guy, blah 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 blah. But what happens is, is when you betray like your principles because you want to fight with somebody, there's this small group of people that get hurt that are like your deepest and dearest fans, and these are the people that are out in the trenches fighting for you on fucking BitChute, on YouTube, on Twitter. And whenever you do shit that's a little bit fucky, but you think it's worth it because the other side is really bad, you're really robbing those people of their ability to defend you. And those are the people that end up getting hurt the most by those activities. You might have a lot of fans that are like cheering you on, like, oh yeah, fuck with these guys, blah, 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 blah. But for the few guys that are like out there like carrying your name into the public, when you do shit like that and other people hit them with it, usually what'll happen is, is like people will say something like, Nick is a fucking Nazi. And your closest fans will be like, bro, Chill the fuck out, okay? We're on, like, some Christianity shit. Like, you might call us far right, but we're not fucking Nazis, okay? We don't talk about genocide. We don't want to murder black people. That's bullshit. And then, you know, they can fight with that. They can show clips of you. They can show posts of yours. They can show whatever. And they can say, this is not true. But then when people are like, okay, well, fuck him. He's, like, doing this deplatforming shit now, too. Well, now, like, the people that are closest to you that would defend you the hardest, now they're kind of, like, scratching their heads and, like, fuck, yeah, this is kind of true. And when I go out online and I try to think of like, what are the things that I believe in? Those are kind of the people that I try to think about the most of not disappointing because those are the ones that get hurt the most. I think when you roll around in the mud too much with other people, that's just kind of like my thought process on it. Yeah, I I agree with that broadly. I would say though, again, you know, we didn't, Mm -hmm. uh, that, that, message about flagging mr girl didn't for me <laughs> for, I maybe not for you like sure but another guy uh-huh. um but i but i i agree with the big picture point and i also agree um about rolling around in, in the mud i try to be for the most part reciprocal i try to be fair with people you know as you know mm-hmm. like um yeah sure you know, I, I don't come on your stream and go hey you know because i know some right-wing people just have like no chill and they're just like mm-hmm. you know i come on the stream, we're just you know and, and what you give i sort of try to give back the same energy um so i totally agree and uh okay. yeah the, um, the mr girl thing just you know it's it's frustrating because i i don't care if people try to vilify me for the views that i have i just hate when and and again and this just bothered me about his thing in general um 
when he's going to go on and say Nick Fuentes just lies about everything he says and just kills people, it's like, well, uh, it really doesn't make sense for me to just go and be an insincere actor. Like, why would I suffer everything that I've been through over the past five years? And people may roll their eyes at, at oh, you suffered. It's like, well, I haven't put through a lot, and it mm-hmm. has been at the minimum an ordeal to stick to my guns on certain things. You know, what would be the point of doing all of that based on insincerity? You know, because I could totally I understand. It, it, I, I understand you know what, what you're saying, one hundred percent, and that. And again, I feel you emotionally. Um, I. I agree with you there. I, I feel the emotion, 100%. I 100% feel it. I, you, you've seen, even if I'm not as deep platform as you, I have like the same types of struggles. But like, right. the, the thing that we advocate for isn't the person, because fuck the person. We don't care about the person. The thing that we should advocate for is the principle. Not to be a corny American uh, jerk off or whatever, but like, who, <laughs> what was the guy that said that like, um, I might not, I might not, um, I might not believe what you in what you have to say, but I'll die if you're right to say it, right? Oh, like, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. yeah, sure. Corny American. I, I'm a big Democratic loser, so you know, I, I like those liberal things. Um, <laughs> but like, if, if we're going to if we're going to be allegiant to something, at the very end of the day, it should at least be our principles, right? Regardless of who's saying it. Like, I'm proud of, and I know you guys maybe don't believe me, or maybe I should get a clip compilation, but I'm proud of the fact that I can look back in time and I can say, like, you know, when Sargon got deplatformed, I was against that, and I said it publicly. And when John Tron got deplatformed, even though I was the one that had the debate, I was against that, and I said it publicly. And I like being able to point back at times like that. And I think my fans appreciate being able to point back at times like that, where I can go to other people and I say, hey, listen, I can do this. I think you should be able to do it too. Even if you have your own struggles, or in some ways you've been like fucked even more than I have. Like, I think it's important at the end of the day that there are people that are willing to make sacrifices principally for the things they believe in. Otherwise, we're all just kind of like on this hedonistic treadmill where we're just kind of like going in whatever direction is easiest. And if you want to make like big political change, right, you probably know this better than me or better than anybody, right? That's It's never going to be an easy path. There's always going to be a ton of friction. And I think part of that friction is probably sticking to principles really when it's the hardest to do so, right? Like, it's easy to stick to your principles when you're not being tested. It's really hard in the face of like, fucking losers like Keffels or I guess for you, Mr. Girl or other people, like that's when you're truly tested, I, I would say. Yeah. It's just but, that I mean, we're we're not necessarily liberals. I, I'm against deplatforming just because, you know, it's like as a practical necessity, like it's probably better if everybody were platformed. You know, because we don't I don't know that we necessarily share that a hundred percent. I mean I'm basically free speech. I'm probably not as pro free speech as you in a certain way. Sure. Um but I am against deplatforming, and uh, and yeah, I mean, as far as um, as far as Mr. G- Mr. Girl goes, I, I agree. I mean, I wouldn't compromise my principles. I don't even see myself as in a fight with him. He just kind of has been going on these streams of fucking trash, mm-hmm. and I'm just kind of like, come on, dude. Like, I'm clearly not like tr- trying to murder your family or whatever. It's just kind of, uh, but but anyway, that's besides okay. the point. So, um, <laughs> so, so yeah, so there's that, but, um. But yeah, let me know about the JFK debate because I think it'd be interesting. But, uh, you know, I understand if you can't make it happen because of everything that's going on. But yeah, we'll uh, see. I got to do research for it. But yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated. Yeah. Anything else? I got to no? do research. Too. I haven't started. No. No, that's all I got for you. But uh, hey, good talking as always. Yeah. See, we're going to we're going to bring the country together. We're going to run on a unity ticket in 2028. Uh-huh. I'll let you be the president. I'll be the vice president. And it's going to be, it's going to be running on sus jokes, going to be running on. <laughs> the one thing I love about you is uh, that you're, do you make these jokes about uh, the, the underage thing? That's the one that's, the, that's going to be one of our main policy planks, I think, on the platform. That, we're going to completely eliminate age of consent. I know you agree with this. We're totally on board with that. Also, we're going to go out there and ban women. I know you're totally against women as well. Um, so I think that's going to be the project that brings the whole thing together. That's the solution. Gotcha. All right. Well, anything else from anybody else in here? Well, you have my ear. Brittany, you're begging me to come on this fucking show all the time. Is there anything else? That is not true. (laughs) Anything (laughs) else? Are we good? No, no, no. I'm good. I'll get you. Yeah, I'm good. I just came on here to yell at Big Tech, honestly. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. Jeez. I'm sorry. I take it all back. Okay. Well, hey, listen. I love you guys. It's been fun. Even if we disagree on stuff, stay safe, okay? Be careful. Yeah. See you, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.